you're considering moving here to the Emerald Coast and you're thinking, hey, Mary Esther's looking pretty good. Well, you're not alone. In this video, we're going to give you the updated pros and cons of moving to Mary Esther. Now, this is updated as to the later part of 2022, so you want to stick around for those key points. <laughs> What's up, everybody? This is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group right here in the beautiful Destin Fort Walton Beach area. If this is your first time to our channel. We do tons and tons of videos about everything that you need to know about our area. Now, as a military veteran of 14 years and now a military spouse, I've moved so many places. Oh, so many places. And every time I moved somewhere, there was always such a lack of information on where to move to and what to anticipate. That's why we created this channel for you. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button, click that little bell so you're notified every single time we got a new video coming out. Now, honestly, we get tons of phone calls, emails, texts from people moving to this area, got some questions, need some help, and we absolutely love it. So please, if you are moving here, give us a call, text, email, text your just little paper airplane, <laughs> whatever you gotta do, we got your back when moving here to our area. So let's get into it. Let's talk about Mary Esther. So where is Mary Esther? If you are moving to the area, maybe you're part of a military complement that goes with uh, Hurlburt Field, it's actually right there. It's kind of split into two different areas. If you looked at Hurlburt Field, it's just to the east for a little bit, all the way to Mary Esther Cutoff, and it goes all the way out west uh, off of 98, you know, where it kind of goes in with the base, all the way until you hit Navarre. So, it's not that big of an area that it necessarily covers, and it's mainly because of the Eglin Air Force Base, which encompasses that huge area just north of it. So population here isn't that big. It's only 4,370 people, according to the last census. <laughs> Pros, cons, let's talk about it, right? I like to get the cons out, out of the way first, so let's hit in on that now. So, cons. Well, right now in 2022, it's the high home insurance cost. Now, I have no idea why everybody just thinks that Mary Esther, you don't want to insure anything there. And it could not be in a flood zone, it could be a newer home, not so much of a newer home, but anything that wasn't built in the past three to five years, the insurance rates are just through the roof. And I just don't know why, but that's the biggest con of moving out to this area is just ridiculous uh, home insurance quotes. So make sure if you are moving here and you got a real estate professional or if you're doing it on your own that you do check those insurance rates prior to putting an offer on a place because your mortgage payment may be a lot different than what you think. Next con, con number two is the Highway 98 traffic. Now that Highway 98 traffic goes all the way through Mary Esther on the southern part. Now you can't get from one end of Mary Esther to the other without going through Highway 98, all right? So there's only that limited amount of travel. Now, because of that, it also has where the base goes in and out of. And, you know, thanks to uh, not having the manning that the uh, military really wants right now, they do gate closures, which only allow that front gate to get most of the traffic, which is really, really frustrating as you're trying to get home or get back with all that traffic. Now, if you're living out in Navarre, this is a really long wait. If you're living in somewhere in Mary Esther and you're getting off the base, it's really not that bad. It's actually only a couple extra minutes. So yeah, then Highway 98 base traffic can be rough. Not only that, but we also have tourism that does like to peak anytime between spring break all the way until the kids go back to school in the fall, right? Uh, so if there are any accidents with out of town drivers, which we get a lot of, 
uh, that can just shut that entire highway down for several hours, which would have taken you 50 minutes or 15 minutes, may now take you upwards of an hour just to get home because there's really no all alternative routes now, really. And that's really leads me into number three. There's really limited alternative routes of travel as you're in Mary Esther. Now, depending on where you're in, if you're in the Eastern part of Mary Esther, you do have that different parts through Fort Walton beach that you're able to get around and it's pretty nice. But if you're on the West side, it's not that great. <laughs> uh, you only really have one or two choices and that's coming from the West or coming from the East. That's all you get, unfortunately. And last but not least, for the cons, is, well, you're right next to an Air Force base. <laughs> air traffic noise from the air base, you're gonna hear it. Even in certain parts of Fort Walton, you can still hear the C-130s and everybody else with doing their engine tests. You can still hear those, those props spinning <laughs> and those engines roaring even at, throughout the day and sometimes into the night. Now, they do a lot of night ops out there, but it's not that noticeable. You kind of get used to it. But if you've never been around air traffic before, you're gonna be right next to an active base. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be there. All right, pros. All right, we got a lot of pros, so let's go into this. One thing I do love about Mary Esther is the housing affordability. It's kind of that nice little happy medium there. So if you're moving to this area, look for a single family home, maybe a, a town home, condo, they got a couple of those throughout there. This is a great area, okay? So let's talk about it. The median home price for a single family home out there in Mary Esther is 316,800 as of the time of this video. Now that's a high all the way up to 2.2 million. Now those are really, really nice homes that are sitting right there on the intercoastal waterway. <laughs> and a low of 85,000, which is probably a cardboard box sitting on the side of the street. Just kidding, it's not that. But it was probably definitely run down. <laughs> All right, so you kind of get that sort of feel about that. Now, rents, maybe you just want to move to this area and rent for a little bit. Totally get it. Median rent price out in Mary Esther, $1,800 per month as of the time of this video. Now, I do want to let our viewers know that it is, if you're watching this after this year, that we are going to see just steady increases of rent over time as we catch up to the ridiculous market that we got in 2020 and 2021. All right, and at the beginning of this year in 2022. So watch for these rental prices to go higher and higher, and it's only gonna get worse and worse. So it may actually be better to purchase. Again, talk to a real estate professional, a financial advisor to see which one's gonna be best for you. But again, uh, rental rates could go as high as $4,000 per month and as low as $600 per month, depending upon where you're going and what you're looking for. Okay, pro number two, you are close to base. <laughs> if you're in the military or military contractor, man, you are in a premier spot because you are right there, right next to work. You're also next to Fort Walton Beach and Navarre Beach. So if you want to kind of figure out the different places that you want to go, where you're going to hang out, these are some good options for you kind of right sitting right there. Now there is a great community. There are different neighborhoods that are all throughout here. They're a little bit older, more developed communities, but there's a great sense of community. We've got a good mix of Floridians, people that are renting and at, uh, working over there at the base, and just a lot of people that are retired here, including myself, that uh, just absolutely love this area. So you get a good mix and diverse amount of people that are around you. Now you're also close to shops and restaurants. There are some in Mary Esther. You do have Mary Esther Cutoff, which has a ton of different stuff. It's got the Santa Rosa Mall right there. There's tons of great things for you as well. Now the crime rate's super low. That's, that's going across the board for most of our area. Uh, a matter of fact, I couldn't find any data that supported anything that wasn't 
that we could give you some sort of metric to, to go with it because there's just not a whole lot reported. Now, when we talk about crime, just know that uh, Mary Esther isn't incorporated. So it does have the county sheriff that has it. So there's no city police or anything like that in that area. Also, it, uh, the public and private schools that are in this area are all rated A, according to niche.com. So that's good for you and the family. Well, that's all I have for Mary Esther for the pros and for the cons updated here for 2022. If you have any questions about anything I mentioned here, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I love hearing from you guys. Just make sure to uh, keep it positive. <laughs> and of course, if you are moving here, got some questions, need some help, please reach out to myself, reach out to my team here. We are here to help. So give us a call, text, email, you know, find us on social media, whatever you got to do. Just let us know that you found us here on YouTube and we got your back while moving this way. Again, my name is Tim Whittemore with the Whittemore Group here with LPT Realty. And we'll see you in our next video. Take care.